sure am lucky. I wouldn't have ever thought I'd get something this beautiful. <laughs> Dakota Kirkland, I am 25. My typical day is getting up in the morning and going to work. I don't have that uh, fear of whether he's going to be okay or not because I'll get a phone call if he's not. With the technology, it gave him the freedom to really be who he is, you know, and, and have the kind of life he was dreaming to have. some challenges as soon as he was born I could tell something was going on one hospital after another hospital after another hospital until we got to Chapel Hill and was able to uh, get the final diagnosis of schizoaffective disorder which is schizophrenia and bipolar at the age of I think he was 12 at that point said at the age of 21 I'm not supposed to live with you forever <laughs> so I said okay let's go see what's out there so that's when he chose a group home that he thought he would be happy in there was a, a lot of uh, frustration on, with the other clients that were living in the home and Dakota really can't handle any kind of aggression so that really was putting him in more of a fearful setting so at that point, you know, was when we really felt like it was better for Dakota to have a better quality of life than what we were seeing within the group home setting. <laughs> I definitely felt nervous. I mean, it was, uh, it's hard to know whether he can do it. Uh, and keep him safe at the same time. So you're always trying to balance that out with helping him grow and, and get more independent as he wishes to be. By my own house, my own decisions. The technology gave Dakota more freedom to be by himself, um, gave me more sense of safety. This is don't forget your keys, Dakota, lock the door. Because I knew if he went out that door, I knew if he didn't take his medication. This is my med dispenser. This is where I keep my pills. I felt a sense of security with the, the technology. Well, I'm about to start my own business. It's called uh, DK's Artwork. What we're doing now, we found out that there is a uh, waiver service that we can tap into that is called micro enterprise so they will help Dakota start his own business so he chose birdhouses he really enjoys carpentry work and building they're tough to make <laughs> what what harder than regular birdhouses he has a staff that can help him um, to be able to put the birdhouses together and, and you know, go and get the reclaimed wood and, and things like that, uh, and then go help him sell it, which is his strong point. He's really good at selling the birdhouses. <laughs> I've sold 12 birdhouses already. To know that he, um, that I was going to be informed and, and that he was, moved, that he had some more skills than I think we ever thought he did. Um, but it was hard to, to take that chance to do that until we, and I wouldn't have done it without the technology. 